Wow. I love that. Okay. Okay, Urban Decay. Wow, that's really nice. This sure is a quickie too. <laughs> that, that blended out really quick. All right, my beautiful glam fam, we are testing out the brand new Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Multi-Use Concealer. I was popping into Ulta for something else and the girl's like, have you seen the new Quickie Concealer? I'm like, it's here, it's in the store. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And she's like, yeah, I was surprised we got it too because it's not available online until the 26th and you can't even order it on the Urban Decay website as I'm filming right now. So you guys know I just raved about the Stay Naked Concealer because I had not used this in the past and I I recently picked this up. This is more of a pink undertone because it was the only shade available because it was on sale. I'm assuming they are weeding this out because it's very, it's very difficult to get your hands on it and this is probably going to take its place. This reminds me a lot of the Too Faced multi-purpose concealer born this way that we all loved. I did a video a long time ago about it. It was like, gosh, like three or four years ago. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a lot like it. it. This is what the box looks like. This was a lot bigger than I thought. I was like, oh my goodness. So I picked up 30NN. I was, shocked how big it was. That was the only thing I was kind of like, why is it so massive? <laughs> Why so big? But this is what it looks like. Here, I'll show you guys what it looks like in studio. This is 30NN. This is more my tone. And this does have like a little, I thought it was gonna be a sponge, but it's actually a brush and it's at a slant. So it's supposed to be so you can kind of dab it on. I don't know if we'll use that, but that is available on there. I guess this is nice for that quickie on the go. It has the Urban Decay logo right there. And then this is what the concealer looks like. And this is a nice big doe foot applicator. Again, just really reminding me of that Too Faced Born this way. Let's see if it's as amazing because that is a really, really amazing multi. I did a whole uh, tutorial where I just used the multi-purpose concealer as my foundation. We're not gonna do that with this one today because I already put my foundation on, but we will uh, kind of just maybe touch up some spots and stuff. So let's quickly go over the details. This is $33. This is 16.4 milliliters and 0.55 ounces. You're looking at about $2 per mil. This is a vegan formula and it doesn't contain any animal derived ingredients, the brush or the product. And this does have a six month shelf life, just so you guys know. So it's not a very long shelf life. This is made in the USA. I think it feels very luxe and that I like the color tone as you can kind of see on the uh, up close shots that I took. So those are all filmed if you're new here on my iPhone in natural daylight, just so you guys can really see the true depiction of the color. Typically I am 30 NN. That's a close up shot of the spoolie. So you can really see the color. This is a very good neutral undertone. It's kind of has a little bit of pink, a little more pink than I would want, but it's good. It's going to really help with the dark circles under my eye. And when you eventually blend it right into my skin, on my hand, it's still a little wet there, so it looks a little bit light, but when you look at it on my arm, you can't even tell where it's blended. So that's amazing, because that means it is like really blends right in with my skin. Let's hope it gives me some brightening though. You never know, I mean, Stay Naked 30NN was a pretty good shade for me as well. This is available in 24 shades, just so you guys know that. So not a huge shade range for, you would think it'd be a little bit more than that. But let's take a look at the swatches that I took in store, just so you guys can see. And that was kind of the light, light medium range right there. So looking at those swatches, we have 20NN, which is the light, kind of a fair light, it says, a neutral undertone. And then we have 30NN, which is what I got. And that one, you can see a little bit of pink undertones in that one, but it is more neutral. It's definitely not yellow and it's not 
uh, it, it's not too warm or anything like that. It is a good neutral undertone. And then we have 30 CP, which I tested out that in a different video with the Stay Naked. It is a really good one if you have very dark circles under your eyes, that might be a good one for you to test out if you're around my skin tone. And then 40 NN, which is a light medium neutral. And then 40 WY, which is light medium warm yellow undertone. So that's the shades right there. I would say the other one that I could possibly go for would be the 40 NN. That would be more my skin tone. I think that would be better as like a foundation portion of my face. I think 30 NN is perfect for under my eye area. I like 20 NN though, cause you guys know I like to really brighten up the under eye. So maybe if I really like the formula down the road during a sale, I'll pick that up as well. And then I wanna show you guys what the swatches look like outside. And I took those outside of Ulta obviously, so you because can really see in natural daylight what the shades look like. I really just wanna get into the concealer and really test it out, but let's just quickly go over what this concealer is. So it is, again, vegan, cruelty-free. This is the Urban Decay Quickie 24-hour multi-use hydrating full coverage concealer. It's a dual-ended concealer infused with vitamin E that gives you all day hydration and a natural skin like finish. It is considered waterproof and lightweight formula, offers a one swipe full coverage without fading or flaking for a real skin matte finish makeup look. It's a multi-use concealer and color corrector that helps to minimize the look of dark eye circles, acne blemishes, hyperpigmentation, discolorization, and redness. Okay, I like that. Can be worn anywhere, anyway, with a moisturizing formula designed for all skin types, whether you have mature skin, dry skin, oily skin, or anything in between. It's even suitable for sensitive skin. It's non-comedogenic, vegan formula, and cruelty the highlighted ingredient is vitamin E, but let's take a look at the full ingredient list. We have water as the first ingredient, and then I'm not quite sure what undecane is. I will put it right there when I find it after when I do the editing, and then there's glycerin, dimethicone, and then you can see the rest of the ingredients right there. Again, I don't see coconut oil in there. Let me know if you guys do but it looks pretty good. It's not too long of a list, so I appreciate that. All right, you guys, let's jump right into this. So I'm excited to test this out. I will show you the swatch one more time, just so you guys can see. Again, this is 30NN, which is a neutral undertone for light skin tones. All right, so we have a foundation on that I am loving. So I was actually going to release the NYX Blur Foundation. I actually ended up picking this up because a couple of you were interested in it. And I was like, you know what, let me just do the video. So I picked it up again. So I was gonna release this video, I already filmed it today, but because this came out and I really wanna get it out because it is brand new and I want you guys to be able to see it and see if it's worth it when it does release online or if it's available at any of your Ulta stores. So I threw this one in in place of the next one. So I'm excited. All right, let's jump in here and we're just gonna do a little bit because we can start off with a little and then see where we need more. Maybe we'll put a little bit right here. This foundation that I have on right now is quickly become one of my top foundations and it's a drugstore foundation. I am not gonna give you guys any hints because I cannot wait for you guys to see this review. It's it's not on today's, this is, a, I did this the other day and I am like blown away with how good it is. So we're just gonna do the normal concealer areas that I do and then we'll start off with my BK Beauty uh, 109 just to let you guys know while this is kind of because it's still a little wet so I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit BK Beauty core collection is now sold in individuals so as of January 17th so by the time I release this video I think it will be a couple days after make sure you have your notification bell on as I will alert you in the community tab when they do go live and I'm excited because this is one of my favorite brushes right now and this is uh, part of the core collection, but you had to buy it in the set. But now they will be available on January 17th on individuals. And you can use my code Christy10 at checkout, get 10% off. And I do have an affiliate link with BK Beauty. So let's blend this out with my BK Beauty core collection 109. And we're just gonna see how this kind of spreads. 
So I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit there. It's okay that it got a little messy there. Just kind of spreading it, and then I'm gonna go in with a sponge, because I wanna see how it applies both ways. All right, so I like to do, this is kind of how I like to do it anyway, that's kind of my method. And let's just blend, 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 blend away. This is just a damp sponge. This is first impressions because I usually like to kind of test out the concealer before I go on camera, but I didn't have time to do that and this just released and I really wanna get this video out. You know I'll probably use it again, especially if I like it. Wow, this is nice. Okay, I have to say I like this one even better than the Stay Naked original one because I found the more I was using the Stay Naked original one, the more I was drying out. I was getting, because right now I'm having more dry skin issues that, uh, especially under my eye area, that that one I notice starts to dry out too much. So that is a perfect shade. That is 30NN. If you are a twinsy to me, you will love this shade. Wow, this is a really beautiful concealer. Really beautiful. Wow, I love that. Okay, okay, Urban Decay. Wow, that's really nice. This sure is a quickie too. <laughs> That blended out really quick. Wow, Christy. Oh, Christy, Christy, Christy. That is really pretty. Okay, that's just, that wasn't even that much. Okay, that wasn't that much for me. Let's just go in with a little bit more, just where I have a little bit of dark circle right there. I just want to see how it's going to um, build up, just out of curiosity. And then I'm going to do a little bit right here just to give me that eye lift. We will set it down and then I'll pop off camera, do a really easy eyeshadow, and then come back on. So I think I'm, this one doesn't take too long to dry down. I am just gonna kind of take my finger right there, just like that. I think it applies really good with the brush and I also think it applies really good with the sponge. So either way, you will like it. Again, this is the BK Beauty Core Collection 109. I'm gonna take my BK Beauty Angie brush and I am going to just kind of take that because it's a little bit smaller. It's like the baby version of the 101 and it just helps me get into that little under eye area there. So this is like 109 and then this is like the little sister to the 109 and this is the sister to the 101. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. Yeah, that built up really beautifully. Wow, that looks good, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing with this one. All right, let's do a little bit on some discolorization areas just to kind of see how it builds up there. Just wanna see if it really does cover discolorization really good, like it says. Just kind of do that. Okay, now I'm gonna take my sponge the butt of the sponge and just kind of blend this out. This is a dose of colors sponge. If you're a glam femme sister, you know this is the only sponge I really use besides the beauty blender. But this one I just use the most. That looks really good. That covered up really nice without looking cakey either. So this does dry down to a matte finish, just so you guys know. I would say the uh, Huda Beauty is a lot more hydrating, I will say that, but this is still really good. I have to play with it more before I start ranking them, but this is really good. Let me know if you guys want me to break down my top concealers. Let me play with this one a little bit more and then I can do a video on my top concealers if you guys want and I'll rank them for you guys. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. That looks really good. All right, let's take my one size powder and set that down. But let me pull up really close and let you guys see what it looks like up close. Now I'll throw in some B-roll of what it looks like on my iPhone outside of my studio lights, just to make sure you guys can get an even better indication of what it looks like. I like to do that because it's not great lighting and I want you guys to see what it looks like in good lighting and in bad lighting. <laughs> 
just kind of gives you a better indication. I'm going to start doing that more as um, I do more videos and we know there's going to be so lots of stuff and I'm just tapping in to make sure we don't have any creases before I go in and set. But I want to do that because I think it's really good, A, for you guys to see the true, the true way it looks without, because my lights make it look amazing. All right, let's uh, get my puff, my little Makeup Forever puff. We're gonna do my one size powder. I like to load that up. Then I kind of tap off a little. And let's see how it does with powder, because sometimes it can oxidize. So we want to make sure that everything can be set nicely. Oh, that looks good. The one size powder just makes it even look even better. <laughs> Going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Medium 2 to set the rest of my face. Make sure to check out my new Charlotte Tilbury highlighter video I just did on Friday. So pretty. Looks good, you guys. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful concealer and it really covered up my spots. Like, looks like I have no spots there. That is really beautiful. Wow, that's so pretty. All right, let's take a look at it all set down now. I think it looks pretty darn good, you guys. I did pick up this 80NN and this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation Powder. And I really like this one for just kind of giving myself some color during the winter. I like to do more pressing motions with powdered foundations. So I am just going to show you guys. It's a really pretty color though. Really beautiful. And it just gives like a little bit of coverage there. I'll blend it out in just a second. I'm just placing the pigment. There's a lot of pigment in there. So you're gonna wanna definitely go slow. I did a little too much on that hand but that's okay, I went on a little heavy handed, but we will blend it out with my puff. And when you blend it out with the puff, see it just takes it away and diffuses it out. So that's why I really wasn't worried, but it's better to do more pressing motions when you do powdered foundations as like bronzers. All right, Glam Sisters, we are at the end of the night. It is almost midnight and I am so tired and I wanna take off all this makeup. I decided to go film an affordable eyeshadow tutorial. I had some editing I needed to finish up and I was like, you know what? Let's try to leave it on as long as I possibly can. I know we're not getting a full day wear test, but I can tell you right now how this is going to wear on my mature eyes. And I really love it, you guys. It is really beautiful. I would say this is in between Huda Beauty and One Size. It's kind of in the middle of those two. That's what I would say as far as coverage and as far as hydration goes. It's not, I think One Size is a little bit more drying, even though it's hydrating for a super matte finish, it's a little bit more drying. This is kind of in between. I would say the Huda one is full coverage with a lot of moisture, but this one is pretty good and I am excited to keep utilizing this product. I'm going to insert some B-roll right there and that's outside of my studio lights, just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like in bad lighting, so you can really see the true depiction of the color tone and as well as how it's wearing on my mature eyes. And I have to say for almost 45, I think this is an incredible, incredible formula. And I just really like the way everything turned out. It mixed really well with this amazing foundation I am trying out. And I, well, not trying out today, this is like my second day wearing it and I really love it. And I think it all played nice and you will see it soon. So stand by for that. I give this concealer a five out of five, 100% of me would recommend it. It is really good. We forgot to use the brush. I got so excited. So I still need to use that brush, but honestly, I just, unless I was out on the go, that's probably the only time I would use it. And I really wanted to give the concealer a fair shot and I didn't want to try anything that I don't normally do. So, and I don't typically like brushes that come with things so I don't think it's too badly priced at $33 and then when the Sephora sale comes along that might help out this is not something you have to run out and get but it is really beautiful so I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope that helped you out with the swatches and if you guys were interested in this product I always know you like to hear my feedback on it you guys know I'm gonna be honest with you I did purchase this product myself and I think 30 NN was a perfect shade so thank you so much to the girls at Ulta because we were trying them on my arm seeing 
what was going to work the best. I love you guys so much. If you're new here and you made it this far, thank you. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button, click the post notification bell, join our beautiful glam fam. We're here every Friday and Sunday and we just love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below and share the video, it really does help my videos out. Thank you for all your love and support. Please follow me on all of my socials at Christy Allure and check out my merch Glamorous Life collections and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Bye. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think